Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Tonight's game, the Frontier Red Hawks play host for the Turner's Falls Thunder. Hi again, everyone. This is Chris Collins, directly at courtside, along with Alec Echo and Kevin Murphy and the FCAT crew. As tonight, the 5 and 6 Frontier Red Hawks, 3 and 1 in the Franklin County League North. On that playoff bubble, take on the 0 and 12 Turner's Falls Thunder, 0 and 4 in the Franklin County League South. And right now, for the Frontier girls, every win is very, very important because they have to get 10 to be able to make it to the postseason. And this one, on paper, should be a relatively easy one, but we don't play these games on paper. We play them on the parquet here at Frontier Regional School Goodno Gymnasium. And we will see if the Turner's Falls Indians, excuse, Thunder, excuse me, Thunder can come in and uh, Find a way to get their first win of the season against a very tough Frontier team led, of course, by Amelia Sobieski, who's been on a tear recently, evening, as is Olivia Dean. Dean. Now let's Welcome go to the floor for the starting lineups. School for tonight's game. Our guests this evening are the Thunder from Turner's Falls High School. The member schools of the MIAA cordially welcome you to this game. The students participating in tonight's contest are representing their schools, their families, and themselves. Please encourage these student athletes with your personal display of support and good sportsmanship. Now for tonight's starting lineups for Turner's at forward, number 30, Lily Spira. At forward, number 15, Daphne Rollins. At center, number 32, Lucy Spira. At guard, number four, Carissa Fleming. At guard, number five, Lindsay Whiteman. Now for Frontier, at forward, number 15, Olivia Dean. At forward, number 12, Amelia Sobieski. At center, number 13, Charlotte Dulac. At guard, number four, Ariana Walker. At guard, number 22, Marie Neiman. Frontier is coached by Rick Recor. The officials for tonight's game are Glenn Mallett and Frank Wiles. Would you please rise for the play of our national anthem? Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. So for the Hawks, it'll be Ariana Walker, Amelia Sobieski, Charlotte Dulette, Olivia Dean, and Marie Demon. The five on the floor. Carissa Fleming, Lindsay Whiteman, Dabney Rollins, and the two of the three Sparrows on this uh, roster for the Thunder. Lily and Lucy. And there's Lana Spirit. And 
I'm going to assume they're all sisters, but I don't know for sure. Lily, though, is a starter and is a seventh grader, which is pretty interesting. So it'll be Lucy Spera and Olivia Dean jumping center. And we are underway. Tip control by the Thunder. This is Carissa Fleming. Lobs into Rollins on the baseline. And a traveling call as she tried to back up on Olivia and took an extra step. So the Hawks will get their first crack at it. Ariana, right side to Olivia. Back to Ariana. A little give and go. Hook shot is no good. Rebound controlled by Walker, though, over to Sobieski to Olivia Dean. Shut off and travel. So a couple of turnovers to get this one started. Lily Sparrow to throw it in for the Thunder. Bounces it in to Fleming. A little, little pressure in the front court by Frontier, and they turn it over. Demon up ahead to Dean. Off the glass and in, count it one. As Olivia Dean draws first blood and will go to the line to shoot a foul shot. Tonight's game being brought to you by attorney Dan Graves, Esquire, Deerfield's town moderator, a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office, 7738706 for all your legal needs. Olivia completes the three point play, 3 0 Frontier Red Hawks. Lily trying to throw it in. She's got five seconds. Five seconds violation. So could not get a pass in. So great smothering defense by the Lady Hawks, and they will get it back. And Dean will throw it in out of a stack. This is to Walker. Walker spots up for three. Spins out. Rebound pulled down. Ends up in the hands of Walker. Puts up the shot. Blocked. And now Olivia gets it back. Gets it back up to Sobieski in a high post. Sobieski right side to Walker. Up fakes. Walker pull up jumper. Way off the mark. Rebound comes down to Dean. A lot of rebounding. That's going to be a backcourt violation. Oh, no. It actually, it was Tipper. So Sobieski brings it up. Sobieski to Walker. Left side to Dean. Six to shoot on the baseline. Dean tries to weave her way through. Did not catch iron. That's going to be a shot clock violation. As Frontier did not hit the rim. So we're going back the other way. Lily Spera to throw it in for the Thunder. Throws it up ahead to Carissa Fleming. Fleming. Center court. Looking for someone to pass to. Bounce pass in a high post to Danny Rollins. Shot is partially blocked. Rebound controlled by Frontier. Outlet to Ariana Walker. Up ahead to Dean. For Sobieski off the glass. Too strong. Rollins the rebound. Fast break for the Thunder. Rollins. Up over to Whiteman. Shot up is good by Lindsey Whiteman. 3-2 Frontier. 6-18 to go, first quarter. Demon. It's cross court to Demon. Sobieski, jumper from the elbow. Spins out. Rebound control by Turns. Fleming now, running the point. For the Thunder. There's a right side to Spear. That's Lily. Back to Fleming. Fleming with a knockout of her hands by Walker. Turners will keep it with 14 seconds on the shot clock. Lily Spera. Going to throw it in. Tries to throw it into Rollins. And tipped out of bounds by Dean. That took a second off the shot clock. So 13 to shoot. Spera throws it out to Fleming. Fleming tries to feed the high post. Tipped over and stolen. Goulette now with it. Goulette stops to Sobieski. Sobieski, jumper from three-point land, no good. Goulette the rebound and a foul. And they're going to get Whiteman, I believe, on a reach-in. Non-shooting. So Olivia Dean throw it in for the Hawks. It's the first team, second team foul, rather, on Curtis Falls. Demon now. Walker, Ariana, trying to thread the needle over to Dean. Olivia, jumper inside the arc, no good. Rebound controlled again by Walker. That's her third rebound in this game. And second good another foul on Turner's. 
That's going to be on Lucy Sparrow, her first team's third. Olivia throws it in. Sobieski jumper, no good. Rebound comes down to Dulette. She gets fouled on the way up. That's two quick ones on Lucy Sparrow, so they're going to have to make a change here, I think, get her out of there with the two fouls. So it's two shots for Charlotte Dulette of the Red Hawks. First shot is no good. Tonight's game being brought to you by Bobby C's DJ Service, best mobile disc jockey in the Valley, according to Reader of the Valley Advocate, BobbyC'sDJService.com. Haley Bogus checks into the game to replace Sparrow, who has the two fouls. Second shot is good, so she makes one of two. Four, two, Frontier. Now a press version of it, Fleming. Tries to push past, not get the bounds off Dulette. So Turners will keep it. 26 seconds on the shot clock. Lily Sparrow to throw it in. She does to Dabney Rawlings. Dabney loses control of the ball and travels. Also just checking into the game for the first time is Lindsay Witt. Oh, excuse me, is uh, Lorena Mays Pullen for Frontier. We'll talk about that after the break. 5.08 to go in the quarter. Frontier 4, Turner's 2. This is Red Hawk Basketball. Frontier, the Access Television. Also into the game for the first time for Frontier, just coming off the bench, is Caitlin Mackin. So Demon now will run the point as Ariana Walker is on the bench. Left side it goes to Mays Polin. And Dulette Demon from the elbow. Spins out, no good. And a rebound pulled down by Dulette. Frontier winning the game on the glass right now. Top of the key, Demon. And it's going to be Mackin who drives through. Shot up, no good. A lot of contact, no foul. Rebound controlled by Turners. Elbow pass to Carissa Fleming. Bounce pass to Rawlings. Ball's knocked loose. Battle for it on the floor. Dabney still after it. And Turners keeps it. Jumper from the corner and misses everything. Rebound controlled by Whiteman. And they try to feed the paint to Bogus and it's stolen back by Frontier. Olivia Dean now with the ball. Olivia runs the top of the key. Left side to Mays Poland. Mackin now trying to work in the paint and it's stolen away by Turners. Carissa Fleming now. Hook shot hits the side of the backboard out of bounds and they're going back the other way. So. Play getting a bit ragged right now. Ariana Walker checks back into the game. So does Sobieski. And Demon and Dulette have a seat. Ariana now. Left side to Mays Poland. And the pass in the middle is stolen by Turners. Lindsay Whiteman to Fleming. Fleming to Rollins. Kicks it back out. Spera for three, way off base. Rebound down, pulled down by Mackin. Mackin will run it out to the right side. And ball knocked loose by Whiteman. Mackin gets it back, nearly travels. Picks up the dribble, goes cross court to Walker. Sobieski down. It's foul on the way through as she got the ball slapped by Haley Bogus. And that should be non-shooting. It's the fifth team foul on Turner's Frontier is yet to commit a foul in this game. Dean runs it out of a stack. Lobs it in to Mackin. Mackin, beat three, no good. And rebound pulled down by Dabney Rollins. Back over to Sarah Waldron just into the game. And Whiteman with it. Whiteman pass over to Lily Spera. Goes through her hands, out of bounds. So, a quiet first quarter in terms of scoring. 4-2 Frontier, 3.02 to go in the first frame. Not pretty so far. Demon now back in. Goes to Mays Poland. Back to Marie. Marie drives left side, pull up jumper off the glass. No, misses everything. Walker the rebound, far side. Back over to Mackin. Back to Demon. Demon for three. Back iron, no good. Battle for the rebound. Controlled by Turners. Rollins up ahead to Whiteman. 
Could not control it. Steps in the baseline. We're going back the other way. Turner's having a really tough time getting any semblance of an offensive flow, but it has been much better on frontier side of the ball. They've only got four points. Two of them are foul shots. One field goal in this quarter for Frontier. Mackin now drives through, gets fouled on the way through as Rollins hacked her on the arm. And this should be two shots for Caitlin Mackin of the Frontier Red Hawks. That's a 16 foul on the Thunder. First shot by Caitlin, upcoming. And that is good. Tonight's game being brought to you by Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television and by Webb's America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime Deerfield residents and huge supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Mackin's second shot is good. Makes them both. 6-2. Hawks by four. 2.23 to go in the first quarter. Down pass goes to Waldron. Back into the backcourt to Ali Murphy just checked into the game. Waldron, they cross half court and a reach in foul over the back. That's going to be on Marie Demon, I think. Her first, team's first. They pass it into Murphy on the left elbow. Cross court is Whiteman. Whiteman goes all the way to the other side. Spots up the three. Front of the iron, no good. Walker, another rebound. Ariana Walker's got five rebounds at least, I think, by my count, unofficially. Demon, left side. Three ball, no good. By Mays Poland. And the ball goes out. Frontier will keep it with a fresh 30. Marie Demon to throw it in for the Hawks. Sobieski, Sobieski's jumpers are short arm, no good. Rebound pulled down by Bogus. Here, outlet pass to Dabney. Dabney Rollins high off the glass and gets fouled on the way up. And that's going to be on Caitlin Mackin. And it's going to be two shots for Dabney Rollins. Dabney's first shot is no good. Tonight's game being brought to you by Cheslick's Market. In the center of South Deerfield, Cheslicks has great coffee, great lunch specials, and snacks, and good people. Go see Nicole and the gang today at Cheslicks, right across from the common. Second shot is good, so Dabney makes one of two. 6-3, Frontier, 1.41 to go in the quarter. Sobieski, off the glass, no good. Rebound pulled down by Bogus, up ahead to Rollins. Rollins pulls it back. Sarah Waldron in the corner to Fleming. Carissa to Rollins. Rollins off the glass too strong. And it goes off of Mackin. Could not control the rebound, so Turners will keep it. And that should be a new shot clock, I think. But they're going to say 17 on the clock. So no reset. Murphy to throw it in. She does to Rollins. Demon after it. And timeout called by Frontier will take the break. 119 to go in the first quarter. Red Hawk 6, Thunder 3. Frontier Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins, Alec Echo, and Kevin Murphy on Sam Finch here at Goodnow Gymnasium. Red Hawks have the ball and the lead. Olivia Dean now, bounce pass to Walker. Walker to Sobieski, turn around, hook shot is good. Almost a blind hook shot by Sobieski. 8-3, Frontier, largest lead. And a breakaway layup by Haley Bogus is good. One minute left in the first quarter. Walker tries to split the defense, loses control, ball hits the floor, battle for it. Waldron winds up on the floor, possession arrow favors Frontier. The Hawks will keep it. And they'll run out of the stack. Pass out, tipped. Walker keeps it, bounces to Sobieski. Sobieski loses control. Over to Dean. Dean trying to dribble through. Gets poked by Bogus. Looked like a pretty good poke shot, but 
They're going to say it was a foul. So we're already into the one and one, as that's the 17th foul for the Thunder. And that's two fouls on Haley Bogus. Olivia Dean. They're going to get her out of there. And they're going to bring back Lucy Spera. Well, by my count, also has two fouls. It's not mistaken. Olivia Dean. First shot is good. A nice game being brought to you in part by attorney Dan Graves. Deerfield's town moderator. He is a practicing lawyer in Greenfield. 773-8706. Calling for all your legal needs. Second shot by Olivia Dean. Upcoming. And that one's good. So Olivia makes them both. 10-5 Frontier. 38 seconds left in the first quarter. Marissa Fleming. Lobs it up ahead. Dabney Rollins loses control. Got bumped pretty good there by Lee Demon. And it's going to stay with Turner's. 23 seconds on the shot clock, 31 on the game clock. Murphy to throw it in. Trying to lob it to Rollins. It goes all the way across court. Dabney's able to control it there. Good job. Up ahead. And laid up and in by Lucy Sparrow. Good job by Dabney Rollins to keep that play alive. 10-7, Frontier. Shot clock is off, 20 seconds left in the quarter. Demon to Olivia. Olivia gets a lane and gets fouled on the way through. Kind of amazed she had that much room to run as Turner's been boxing in pretty well and closing down that lane. That's going to be two fouls on Dabney Rollins and a one and one. Or are they going to give her two shots? Two shots for Olivia Dean, they say. First shot for Olivia is good. Nice game being brought to you in part by Bobby C's DJ service. Bobby was just here, by the way, for the JV game. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley, according to the readers of the Valley Advocate. And by the way, voting for this year's best of the Valley closes at the end of this month. So make sure you vote for Bob, bobbycsdjservice.com. Second shot by Olivia Dean is good. She makes them both. Olivia's got five foul shots, seven points in this quarter. Double dribble is the cause. Fleming is being hassled by Walker, so Turner's struggles continue. Dean throws it into Demon. Demon bounce pass down low to Goulet. And it ends up in Demon's hands. Shot up no good. Goulet the rebound. Battle for it, and turn around jumper at the buzzer is no good. The end of one quarter, it is Frontier 12, and Turner's 7. Second quarter action coming up. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Second quarter upcoming. And the first quarter was interesting but not exactly fruitful in terms of scoring. Of course the JV game was pretty low scoring as well. In fact Turner's JV only had five points going into the fourth quarter of that. See if the Thunder can get things going here and they start the quarter off with a quick turnover. Doulette now has it. Doulette loses control. Actually that was Demon who lost control going through trying to go to the basket. And it was knocked loose by Turner so Frontier will keep it. Dean will inbound to Walker. Walker bounce passes Sobieski. Sobieski runs into all kinds of trouble. Gets it back though. And throws it back. Tipped by Demon in the backcourt. And it's going to be a backcourt violation. As it was not tipped by a Turner's player. So the Thunder will get it back. 
Allie Murphy to throw it in right in front of me. Out there is Lily Spera and Fleming. They're trying to get it to Fleming in the backcourt. And finally, Fleming gets the pass in stride. Shot up is no good. Foul as hitting the floor was Demon along with Walden. And they're going to get two. That's two fouls on, uh, on Marie Demon. So Marie's going to have to come out. And Sierra Warren will check in for her first minutes of the game. Murphy to throw it in for the Thunder. Lobs it in to Carissa Fleming. Fleming has to Walden. and that's going to wind up in the backcourt. Sierra Warren's first to get it though. Off, the, off her knees goes to Sobieski. Shot no good. Walker's follow up, put back, goes in. 14 7. Red Hawks by 7. Largest lead. We get the pass up to Lily Spera. Lily spins away and will hand it off to Sarah Waldron. Waldron. One hit Spera in a high post. Goes through her hands. And coming away with it is Sobieski. Sobieski through everybody. Lays it up and in. Nice play by Amelia. 16-7. Hawks by nine. Travel. And as again, Sierra Walker. Sierra Warren making all kinds of things happen out there. And a nice steal before and, and causes the travel. Warren is out. Demon is back in. So it's Sobieski, Demon, Goulet, Dean, and Warren, the five out there for the Red Hawks. Dean, left side to Warren. Warren, the three. Good! Sierra Warren from downtown. And suddenly the Hawks breaking it open a bit. 12-point lead for the Frontier. 6.35 to go in the half. Whiteman now. Back to Waldron. Waldron drives right side. Loses control. Out of bounds. And they're going the other way. That was Marie Demon that made that happen. Lucy Spera is out. And back into the game is not in the lane is Lana Spera for the first time. Dean now to Mackin. Sobieski's hook shot no good. Mackin gets the rebound, tries to dribble out, and gets whacked on the way up by Lana Spera. She's got her money's worth of that. We can hear that smack of the flesh all the way over here. So it's going to be a couple of shots for Caitlin Mackin. That's the first foul on Lannis Spear. Mackin's first shot is no good. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by Holiday Pizza, the center of South Deerfield. Holiday is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Second shot. No good. And a rebound controlled, though, by Sobieski. Sierra Warren now trying to drive through. Dishes it off. Quick shot off the glass is no good by Sobieski. Rebound controlled by Turners. And here comes Lindsay, uh, uh, Lindsay Whiteman now with the ball for the Thunder. Whiteman runs left side. Bounce pass in the middle to Sarah Waldron. Right side to Slana Spira. And a whistle. It's going to be a foul. And I think that's going to be on Caitlin Mackin. Demon out. That's the second foul on Caitlin. And War oh, you're right now. Walker's back in, replacing Demon. Rollins on the baseline. Hook shot. No good. Too strong. Rebound controlled by Olivia Dean. 5.35 to go in the quarter. 19-7. Frontier with the lead. Sobieski, jumper from the corner. Spins out no good. Walker now with it. Walker. And Mackin got tied up. Possession arrow stays with Frontier. 4 Warren, actually that's Dean that's going to throw it in. Eliza Johnson coming in for the first time for the Turner's Falls Indians. Having a seat's going to be Allie Murphy. <laughs> Dean, we're going to throw it in. Lobs it out to Mackin, top of the key. Mackin tried to pass it to Walker, knocked out of bounds. Mays Poland checking back in for Frontier and stepping out is Caitlin Mackin. Diana Walker to Warren. 
Warren to Dean. Dean hook shot through the lane. It's foul on the way up. And it's probably going to be on Spera again. If so, that's two on Lana. Yep, that's the 10th team foul on Turner's and the second on Lana Spira. So Olivia Dean at the line again. Been there a lot this half. First shot is good. The next game being brought to you in part by Webb's, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins, longtime Deerfield residents, big time supporters of local sports. They visit them at yarn.com. A couple of pretty good athletes, by the way, in that Elkins family. Second shot, front iron no good, rebound, controlled by Johnson. And ends up in the hands of Waldron. Waldron, the head to Dabney Rollins. Rollins, pull up jumper from the foul line is no good. Rollins fouls the rebound, put up shot, and that goes. Dabney Rollins, her first field goal of the game. 20 to 9, Frontier by 11. Olivia Dean, right side to Walker, in the corner to Warren. Warren. Sobieski turn around jumper and the lane is good through double coverage. Good play by Amelia. Lana Spear gets the inbound pass, goes cross court to Whiteman. Whiteman trying to dribble out of containment. Tries to throw it back to Waldron and they get it across. Lana Spear now. Shot blocked on the way up by Sobieski. And Olivia Dean up ahead to Sierra Warren. Walker, Walker, left side to Lena Mays pulling. And ball is knocked loose. Stays with Frontier, Walker, excuse me, that is Sierra Warren with a three ball. That's two three-pointers in this quarter for young Sierra. 25 to nine. Frontier by 14, biggest lead so far. Excuse me, 16. Quick foul. Dulette's checking back in. Also coming in for the first time is Amanda Fuller for Frontier. And sitting down, Elena Mays Poland and Ariana Walker. <laughs> Lily Sparrow checking into the game. Back into the game. Throws it into Rollins on the baseline. Rollins goes up, is blocked by Dean again. And Sobieski loses control of the ball for a second. Picks it up. Head to Warren. Sierra. Three ball. Front of the iron. No good. By Fuller. And the rebound for Turners. And Rawlings tries to pass it up ahead. Ball knocked around. Playing pinball down there. Ends up in the hands of the Thunder. Whiteman. Jumper from the corner. No good. And rebound. Rawlings going up strong. And is fouled on the way up. So Dabney Rollins doing the best she can out there. Probably having the best performance of all the Thunder players tonight. Certainly the most aggressive. That's the first foul on Sobieski, by the way. First shot by Dabney is good. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by Cheslick's Market, Center of South Deerfield. Great coffee, snacks, and lunch specials. Go see Nicole and the gang today. Second shot, no good. And a rebound on the floor. Do that one out of bounds, so Turners will keep it. 15 point Hawk lead, 25 10. 3 13 to go in the half. And now pass to Fleming. Fleming in a high post to Haley Bogus. Back to Fleming. Fleming back to Haley again. Now it's Lily Spare, stolen away there by Sobieski. Sobieski goes up strong, hits the side of the backboard with the shot, though. Outlet pass to Rollins. Rollins goes coast to coast, lays it up and in. 25-12. Beaver of Frontier. Warren crosses half court. Warren tries to feed the paint. Goes through the legs of Sobieski. And then a foul, a really bump and run foul on the way up the floor. And that's going to be, I believe, on Olivia Dean. I don't know, that was actually to left that got called. And we are now into the one and one, as that was the seventh team foul for Frontier. And Dabney Rawlings will shoot. First down of the one and one is good. 
Dan, you will get one more. Dabney Rollins is a junior, one of the leaders of this team, though. Second shot is good. So Dab makes them both. 25-14, Frontiers lead cut to 11. In the corner to Fuller. Back out to Olivia, right side to Walker. Walker for three, partially blocked on the way up. Fuller's putback is no good. Lucy Sparrow the rebound, outlet to Dabney. Rollins. Stops, kicks it back out to Whiteman. Whiteman spins in the corner. Whiteman's shot is off the glass. Too strong, battle for it. Olivia gets fouled. It's gonna be on Whiteman, and we're going back down to shoot two at the other end. As we're into the double bonus now. Two fouls on Lindsay Whiteman. Olivia Dean to shoot. Deb's first shot is no good. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by attorney Dan Graves, Deerfield's town moderator, a practicing Greenfield attorney, 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Second shot upcoming for Olivia Dean. And that one is good. And Olivia will come off. And in for her is Addie Roberts. 206 to go in the first half. And Fleming walking up the floor for the Thunder. Fleming goes right side to Vanessa Moreno. It's just in the game. They feed the paint to Rollins. Back out to Fleming. To Moreno. And a three-second call is the call from the referee, so we're going back the other way. Walker out, and four in for the Hawks. And now crosses half court. Fuller stops, and has it knocked away. Up ahead to Rollins. Dabney, jumper off the glass and in. There's Dabney Rollins, and a good job he can get that shot off. So the Frontier leads cut to 10, 26-16. It was as high as 16 at one point. And that's going to be a turnover as Mays Poland lost control of it on the sideline. Flooding now for turnovers. Left side to Spera. Over to Moreno. Moreno tried to feed the paint. Knocked loose. Fleming now. And a travel. So neither team having a real good time of moving the ball. In this latter part of the second quarter. 109 to go in a half. 26-16. Frontier by 10. Mariana Walker back into the game. There's left side. Fuller back to Walker. Walker, I don't know what that was, but deflected back. And uh, Sobieski has it on the right elbow, and she gets bumped in the way through. Rolls very lightly by Lucy Spera. And so we got two shots for Amelia Sobieski. That's three fouls, by the way, on Lucy Spera. Amelia's first shot is good. All net. Tonight's game being brought to you by. Bobby sees DJ service. Voted best mobile DJ in the Valley by the readers of the Valley Advocate, and they are voting right now. Voting for this year closes out at the end of the month. Look at your next party now, Bobby sees DJ service.com. So the SQ hits them both. 28 16. 55 seconds left. Fleming. Bounce pass to Rollins. Right elbow shot is no good. Sobieski, the rebound, throws it back out. And Turners will keep it. High post to Rollins. Rollins out to Moreno. Top of the feet of Fleming. Fleming, bounce pass to Manaspera. Back to Fleming. 
Moreno's jumper is good. Vanessa Moreno is into the book. 28-18, Frontier by 10. And pass, gets to Walker, almost stolen. To Sobieski on the elbow, Sobieski shot. Back iron, no good. The guy knocked loose, and Fleming runs it up. Fleming pulls it back. Rollins down, jumper from the foul line is no good. Rebound pulled down by Frontier. Four seconds left, and possession arrow favors Turner, so the Thunder will get one more whack at it with 3.4 seconds left in the half. Into Rollins, Rollins kicks it back out, and jumper at the buzzer is no good. And that is the end of the first half from South Pierre. We have played one half. Good no gymnasium at the end of one half. It is Frontier 28. And Turner's Falls Thunder 18. Second half action coming up. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbyc'sdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Second half action upcoming here on Frontier Community Access Television. The Frontier Red Hawks lead the Turner's Falls Indians by a count of 28 to 18. Olivia Dean, nine points in that first half to lead Frontier. Mia Sobieski had eight, six for Sierra Warren, two three balls and two points for Ariana Walker, two points for Caitlin Mackett, and a single point for Charlotte Dulet. For Turner's Falls, Dabney Rollins, 10 points and two each for Vanessa Moreno, Lindsay Whiteman, Haley Bogus and Lucy Sparrow. Joining me at courtside, a special guest here as we get ready for the second half, Kaylin Evans from the Frontier Red Hawks boys basketball team. Kaylin, uh, good enough to come on and talk a little bit about what's been a great season, although you missed the most recent Turner's game because of hyperextended knee. Was yeah. that what it was? So what happened with that? Uh, it was a Palmer game. Um, went up for a ball early in, the, early in the first quarter, actually, and just hyperextended it. Um, felt pain the next day so I took the day off uh, for Turner's um, to get ready for a big game against Pioneer on Friday. And Pioneer you guys are going to Northfield Messer Gymnasium Friday night you both are I guess both teams are both 11 and 1 yep and this is a real showdown game and uh, what are your thoughts on going up against the Panthers? Uh, every year they give us a good game so yeah. I don't know a lot of people are saying we're I'd say we're a better team but you never know when you go up there they got a couple good shooters um, they're going to be playing their hearts out against us, that's for sure. So, And you've got that massive uh, front court of the, the, the Carey brothers, and you've got your great athleticism, and you've got some great shooters on the, on the outside. So I think this is probably the most complete Frontier team we've seen probably in five years. Absolutely. You've got to feel really good about it. Absolutely. It's a blast playing with them. So, Absolutely. So in terms of you're already qualified for the tournament. You're not thinking ahead, obviously. But, mm. And you lost Colin to that, uh, that weird injury on the, yep. on the dunk. Yep. In the pregame warmups, so uh, looking ahead, I don't I don't see a lot of teams challenging you guys. 
Yeah. I mean, we, we, we see that as well, but like you said, we take it game by game and not worry about the game ahead of us or behind us. We just take it day by day and try to get better. So Kalen's going to hang a bit with us here on the second half here, and uh, we'll see how this game goes. This has been kind of a weird game so far. Tim Barrington is also here. We did give you a nickname. We're calling you Great Barrington. <laughs> Great Barrington, that's right. So you've got your nickname. The Great One, Tim Barrington. Yes, All right, sir. second half action underway. Our Anna Walker over to Demon. And another turnover as Lily Spera brings it back, but turns it over right away. Olivia Dean now with it. Running it up. Olivia goes strong with the glass and in. She goes strong in the hoop a lot. Good ball player. Yes. Good athlete. Absolutely. 30 to 18. Frontier by 12. And Carissa Fleming runs it up. Chris tries to go right side to Whiteman. And out of the top of the key. Jumper by Spera. Lucy off the glass. That was only for two. Wow, she can crank it from out there. One thing I have noticed, Caleb, is you guys aren't quite shooting the three as, as consistently as you have in years past. Is that because you've got a better inside game? That is absolutely the reason why. <laughs> Go with your strength. So Vieski, speaking of good inside games, fires it in. Lead back up to 12. Carissa Fleming. Bounce pass to Rollins in a high post, but stolen away. Now, double dribble. You don't see Walker do that very often. Mm -hmm. It's good to see the Frontier boys out here supporting the girls' games, and of course the girls come out to your games, I'm sure. Yeah. Whiteman now. In the middle to Fleming. Carissa, right side to Whiteman. Whiteman from the elbow, inside the arc, no good. Walker the rebound, far side. Up ahead to Sobieski. Sobieski go up strong. Couldn't make it, but the putback is up and in by the trailing Marine Demon. 34-20, 14-point lead. They're being joined on mic by Kalen Evans of the Frontier Red Hawk boys. On the right side, Whiteman shut off. Feeds the paint. Out of bounds. Still turns back. 14 to shoot. Turner's having a little trouble keeping possession of the ball throughout this game, I've noticed. They've had trouble getting the ball you know, into a, a, a decent rhythm in yeah. terms of the offense. Absolutely. That's an air ball, but Rollins cleans up the glass, lays it up in. They're staying in it. Yeah, she, they're hanging around for yeah. sure. And Debbie Rollins is a good ball player. Yep. She's probably the best player out there for Turner's. Demon now. Tries to drive the paint. Scoop shot is no good. Gets her own rebound. Sobieski, turnaround jumper is an air ball. Battle for it. Frontier's rebounding has been pretty good, good tonight. Rebounding. Dean on a high post. And Sobieski. Sobieski, a hook shot from the corner. No good. Ball knocked around. Still has to hit the rim. Eight to shoot. Demon now. Travel. So we're going the other way. 5.40 to go in the third. And coming back into the game, Allie Murphy for Turner's. And checking out will be Lily Sparrow. There's three Sparrows on this team. Three of them. Not to be too confusing. Carissa Fleming now crosses half court for the Thunder. Bounce pass to Rollins. Back outside jumper is an air ball by Murphy. Rebound pulled down by Walker. Ariana Walker has had like 10 rebounds tonight. I've noticed that. She's <laughs> crashing the glass hard. It's she's amazing. All, she's all over the floor. And that ball is off of Frontier, so we are going to go back the other way for Turners. 34 22 Hawks, 5 19 to go, third quarter. Marissa Fleming now crosses half court. Running top of the key. Bounce pass to Bogus. Back over to Murphy. Murphy goes cross court and it goes through everybody. Walker hits the floor looking for it. Comes back to Whiteman. Whiteman to Murphy. Murphy's shot it's, does not even catch the iron. It caught twine but no iron. So four seconds left on the shot clock. Sierra Warren checks in, so it's Mackett for Frontier. And jumper from the corner, does not hit iron. Rebound controlled by Frontier, and a foul behind the play. A little frustration there by Haley Bogus. And that might be, how many is that? That could be, that's three. That's three. I wasn't sure if it was three or four. But. Dean now, running it up. Up ahead to Roulette. 
Duet's jumper does not go. She crashes the rebound, runs over Fred Turner's play. Oh my God. Bodies flying everywhere, no calls. Whiteman comes away with it. Whiteman pulls it back, bounce pass in the middle, and nobody in particular, and Mackey comes up with it. Timeout on the floor will take the break. 4.23 to go in the third on the scoreboard. It's Frontier 34, Turner's 22. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins, Kevin Murky, Murphy, Alec Eckel, and Sam Finch out here at Goodner Gymnasium. We're joined at Mike by the guy we've come to know as the great one, Tim Great Barrington, who is one of the uh, Frontier Red Hawks. We had Kalen Evans on earlier, and uh, Tim has been out. Tim, you've been shooting the three a lot lately and uh, running the point uh, for the Hawks. So you having yourself quite a season. It's been, been a lot of fun, I assume, this year. Yeah, well, thanks for having me. Uh I'm looking forward to the game tomorrow at Pioneer, and uh, I've just been shooting a lot lately, trying to get extra points off the bench, so uh, that's my game plan for now. You got the start the other night against Turner's, which is good to see, yeah. you know, and Kalen was without with the injury, but you know, you definitely, I was, gonna, I was we were talking a lot when we do your games about how deep your team is. Yeah, absolutely. Pretty much anybody, any combination can, can work. That shot by Rollins is good, which is a good thing if you're Ben Barashevsky, your coach, to have. Oh, absolutely. Players 1 through 13 come to practice, work hard every day. and It's really great to see because we all have talents no matter what we do, but we all individually have great skills. So. You've also got a lot of chemistry as Duet goes up strong for a shot. And this just, girls team's looking great too. They are. They are. And uh, right now they're on the bubble in terms of the tournament. You guys have already qualified. So. Yep. But that game tomorrow night against Pioneer, boy, that's going to be... That's going to be a rocking good time, and that place gets loud up there. Oh, it's going to be huge. I guess it's pack the night or pack the house night for them. Too, yeah, and so. they've got the pet band and everything else. Yep. When you go on the road like that, does that affect you guys at all? Uh, at first, yeah, it's a little nerve wracking, but once you settle in, it's it's pretty cool. And once you quiet them down, take the lead and everything. That's exactly right. It's a exactly huge right. swing, so I like it. <laughs> I want to see if how those guys are able to deal with the twin towers you got in the middle, the Carey Brothers. <laughs> It's great to see how much they've grown. I mean, literally and figuratively, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Olivia Dean with a jumper from the elbow is good as the Hawks extend the lead to 38 to 24. Yeah, I, I, I really enjoy the fact that you guys have a, a complete inside and out game. For a couple of years now, it's been like one or the other. Yeah. And you're not shooting as many threes, but you don't have to because you've got a really strong front court. This year, we finally got it clicking inside and out. That's what I love, though, is the speed of your guards. Oh, you know, yeah. You, Alex, Kalen, good athleticism is going up strong for the shot. Is Mack and no good. And the putback is good by Sobieski. As the Hawks extend the lead to 16, matching the largest lead of the game. Dabney Rollins' shot is blocked. Putback by Bogus is shot up no good. And out of bounds. What do we got here? It's going to be Turner's ball. Get some subs coming in. We've also seen a lot of inside-out play from uh, the girls tonight, too. Yes, absolutely. A lot of strong work inside. The surprise, though, has been Walker in the rebounding. She's not usually yeah. a rebounder, but she's got at least 10 of those tonight. She works really hard for the ball. Well, the thing I like about her game is she's great. She has great floor sense. She knows where the ball is at all times. Good instinctive basketball player, and you've mm -hmm. got to have that, that instinct. And the funny thing is you guys got a lot of gym rats on your team. There are <laughs> a, a lot of the teams in the league, like I think about Greenfield, Greenfield doesn't have a classic bunch of what I would call gym rat types. They're good athletes, but they aren't basketball players per se. Yeah, uh, a lot of the teams around here, they have football players. They got, you know, it's a it's smaller school, so you're not going to see one true sport players. You're going to see a lot of three sport athletes, two sport athletes. But I like how it is, honestly, playing each other in different sports. When you guys are in practice, how competitive does it get? I've often wondered about that. I never, I never see you guys practice. I see you in games. But uh... It gets pretty competitive. I wouldn't say there's been a lot of trash talking yet or anything, but it's de it's definitely fun. A lot, of, a lot of diving on the floor. It's good to see that we put it all out at practice as well. Got a blocking foul on Waldron there as she bumped up with uh, Olivia Dean. And <laughs> we have a couple of kids falling to the floor. Will have nothing to do with the game. But this guy scared me there for a minute. So Demon will throw it in. And Marie will throw it into Ariana. Walker now. Bounce pass in the paint. 
and Dean gets pounded in the middle by Lucy Sp Lily Sparrow, actually. No call. Frontier will keep it with a fresh shot clock. Two minutes to go in the third, 40-24 Hawks with a 16-point lead. Inbound to Walker. Walker bounce pass Demon. Demon oh, spots the up the three. Yes! Yep. That's a good shot right there. That's a very good shot. Marie good Demon. Swing. And that's her first three ball of the game. And that makes it a 43-24 lead. 19-point lead. Biggest of the game for the Red Hawks. And they try to feed the paint. Ball good knocked hustle. loose. Out of bounds. What do we got? Should be Turner's ball. Yep. So throwing it in is Allie Murphy for the Thunder. It's weird calling, I called them the Indians once tonight. Only once though. Yeah, it's hard to adjust to that. The Thunder? Thunder. Yeah. Running hook shot by Haley Bogus is good. 43-26. Walker, right side to Ames Pullen. Now it goes over in the corner. Olivia Dean spots up for three. That misses. Walker again with the rebound. Ball hits the Possession arrow favors Turners, however. Ariana Walker has been a rebounding machine. They won't be sweeping the floor anytime soon with <laughs> her out there. That's exactly <laughs> right. Exactly right. Murphy trying to throw it in and stolen. Ames pulling. Good job. And she gets pounded going through. Hits the floor. And that's going to be a foul. Non-shooting as we're nowhere near the bonus at this point. Dean will throw it in. It's the third team foul for the half on the Thunder and the third for Lindsey Whiteman. They lob it into Sobieski at the foul line. Sobieski aims pull and in the corner it goes to Dean. Jumper by Sobieski for the foul line is good. It's a great shot. And Amelia has 14 points in this game. They throw it out deep to Carissa Fleming. Fleming loses control. Sobieski back to get it. Demon loses control. Stolen back by Haley Bogus. Bogus, pull up jumper, no good. This Turner's team the other night played Greenfield, and I guess Greenfield won a 40 to a 40 0 run or some ridiculous number like that. Well, that Green Greenfield girls team is wicked. They're a threat. They got two 1,000 point scores yep. and probably another one on the way, I heard. So yeah, they do. They're That's, pretty good. <laughs> they are pretty good. They'll probably be in Western Mass again. I would think. A lot of people down here think you guys are, are the odds on favorite to win in your division. Well, we got to put in a lot of work. Dean up ahead to Demon. Demon drives the baseline. Kicks it back to Sobieski. Sobieski the jumper all night from there. Same spot every time. All night. To bread there. and butter. 16 points for Amelia. Making a bid for player of the game on this one. Moreno inbounds to Fleming. 15 seconds left. Shot clock is off. They lose control. And he's pulling to Dean. Oh, misses the bunny. Rebound pulled down by Fleming. Seven seconds. And a foul coming up the floor by Sierra Warren, who just checked in. And Moreno will throw it in with 6.2 seconds left. That's two fouls on Warren. And they give it in to Haley Bogus, almost a backcourt violation. And they are not going to get a shot off. Whistle with 0.1 second, one tenth of a second left. That's odd. That's one you don't want to give up. That's going to be yeah. on Amelia. That's two fouls with, point, with one tenth of a second left. And they throw it in. They get the shot off. Whoa. It does not go at the buzzer. Good play, though. Good it was a good play. play. We played three from South Pier for the end of three quarters. It is Frontier 47 and Turner's 26. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. 
Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Second half, excuse me, fourth quarter action upcoming, the second part of the second half, thanks to Kalen Evans and Tim, the great one, Barrington, for coming on and doing some color commentary, getting a big showdown game with Pioneer this week up in Northfield. They feed the paint to Sobieski, back out to Warren. Sobieski again, jumper, that is her spot. She is knocking it down from there. 18 points for Amelia. Right side it goes to Lana Spera, to Moreno, back to Spera. Spera, jumper, one-handed jumper, air ball. Comes back down, put up jumper, it's good. In the corner by Lindsey Whiteman. 49-28, Hawks by 21, Demon. Bounce pass to Sobieski, jump on the baseline, she could not miss in the second half. Amelia Sobieski is going off. Timeout on the floor will take the break. 7 10 to go on this one. It is Frontier 51 and Turner's 28. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Turner now with the ball, bringing it up. 7 6 to go in this one. Eliza Johnson back into the game for the Thunder. Now Moreno has it. Back to Johnson. The right elbow. Johnson feeds the paint to Lana Spera. Moreno gets it back. Moreno to Johnson. Nine seconds to shoot. Johnson to Spera. Back to Moreno. Over to Whiteman. Whiteman, one second left. Shot's not going to happen. Shot clock violation. Checking into the game for the Hawks is Macy Ring, her first action, and Amanda Fuller back in for Frontier. So it's Sobieski, Fuller, Spera, Ring, See you ring. And travel is the call as they're going back the other way. And Dean. Dean is the fifth one. Whiteman now bringing it up for the Thunder. Whiteman right side to John, Eliza Johnson out of bounds. And Turner's will keep it as it's knocked loose. 21 seconds left on the shot clock. Morena will throw it in. Dabney Rollins back into the game for the Thunder. Pass lobbed out. So it'll be with the steal, though. And they're going to say she stepped on the sideline. So Turner's will inbound. Vanessa Moreno. To Rollins. Rollins goes baseline. Running one-hander is good. Dabney Rollins. Nice play. Got 16 points in this game. Has been a bright spot for the Thunder in this one. Now a little bit of pressure in the backcourt by Turner's. Broken. Macy Ring now. Right side to Dean. Olivia swoops through. Partially blocked. Rollins comes away with it. Dabney off to the races. Pulls up off the glass. No good. And we're coming back the other way. Here comes Amanda Fuller. Fuller up ahead. Shot is no good. Put back by Sobieski is partially blocked, but Amelia comes away with it. To Abby Roberts, right side to Dean. Olivia drives through off the glass, does not go. Wave that shot off, and we're going to have a foul. And Olivia Dean to shoot. Two shots. First one is good. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield, the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television, and Webb's America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Steve and Kathy Elkins, longtime Deerfield residents, good friends, great supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Second shot is good. So Liv makes them both. She has 15 points in this one. 53-30, 23-point lead for the Hawks, their largest. Right side to Whiteman. Fleming now, left side. Three-pointer is blocked. 
Rollins, though, picks up the loose ball, lays it up and in. So making something out of nothing there. And again, Turner's pressing. Dean runs it up the right side. Into Turner's territory. Pulls it back on the right elbow. Living now to Fuller. Fuller, battle for it. Possession arrow favors Turner. Good job by Lindsey Whiteman to get a paw on that one and trigger the turnover. Whiteman throws it into Fleming. Five minutes left. Carissa very deliberately brings it up. Fleming. Left side to Johnson, to Fleming. Fleming, three ball, tried to bank it, doesn't go. Kept a nice play to keep it in. And laying it up in is Oh Fuller with the missed shot, but the putback is good by Sobieski as keeping that ball in play was Macy Ring with a great play. Whiteman, top of the key. Right side to Fleming. Fleming to Rollins down low, shot no good. Outlet pass by Dean to Sobieski. Sobieski pulls up in the lane, does not get the bounce. Outlet pass to Rollins. And he has to pull it back. Did not have control of the ball. Puts up a jumper. Front of the iron, no good. Rebound pulled down by Roberts. And it's going to be Frontier Basketball. Duet back in. Mackin back in. Sobieski out. Fuller out for the Hawks. The lead is still 23. Roberts down, bringing it up for Frontier. Abby splits through. Up ahead to Ring. Macy trying to work on the baseline. And double dribbled. Well defended by Dabney Rollins. Didn't give her anywhere to go. Back in is Haley Bogus for Turners. And out is Lily Sparrow. And Dean will have a seat on the bench. As... Looks like the starters might be done for Rick Recor's Red Hawks. Fleming now goes right side to Whiteman. Back to Fleming. Rollins at a high post. Shot through the lane is no good. And still Turner's basketball with a fresh shot clock. 3.25 to go in the game. 30 seconds on the shot clock. 55-32 Frontier with the lead. So barring a miracle, the Hawks are going to win this one and get their sixth win of the season. Shot no good. Put back is good by Lindsey Whiteman. Mays pulling now. Trying to give it to Mackin. Knocked out of bounds. And it went off Mackin, so Turner's will keep it. Into Carissa Fleming. Fleming now. Bounce pass to Bogus. Home in the corner. Johnson's shot is no good. Rebound pulled down by Frontier. And a steal to Rollins. Lays it up and in. Dabney Rollins has 20 points in this one. Time on the floor will take the break. 2.49 to go in the game. It's Frontier 55. Turner's 36. This is Red Hawk basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. So Frontier to inbound under their own basket. Abby Roberts to throw it in to Elena Mays Pullen. Crosses the timeline, dishes it off to Mackin. Caitlin loses, actually dribbled it off her own foot. Don't see that very often. Fleming comes away with it. Carissa up ahead, but stolen back by Durette. Durette tries to throw it back, and it goes through the backcourt, and Bogus goes after it. Up ahead to Rollins. Rollins shot. No, wave it off. Offensive foul drawn by Caitlin Mackin. Turner's coach can't believe it. And the Turner's coach is arguing that Rollins got the shot off before the contact was made. He may have a case there. This is one of those times I'd love to have instant replay. Coming off is Mackin is slow, was slow to get up as there was a lot of contact there. Caitlin's tough, got up and off the floor on her own power. Excuse me, not Mackin. That's... It's not Caitlin Mackin. Caitlin Mackin is, it's Macy Ring, excuse me, that's on the bench. 
And a base pulling to Mackin on the left elbow. Mackin drives through and travels. 2.12 to go in this one. 55-36, Frontier with the lead. Turner's with the basketball. Fleming now. Right side to Whiteman. To Bogus to Fleming. Johnson, shot is no good. Mack in the rebound. Rips it down. And Caitlin will bring it up. Caitlin Mackin driving through. Kind of a crazy hook shot, doesn't go. Rebound pulled down by Frontier, out of bounds. Ooh! And Mays Pullen went hard into the bench. Bang your knee, it looked like. Gets back up quick. Tough kid. And checking back into the game is Moreno. And Eliza Johnson will check out. Abby Roberts throws it in to Dulet. Dulet. Trying to get loose. It's going to be out of bounds off of Dulet. And we have an injured Turner's player, Ali Murphy. Got hit in the head, it looks like. She comes off holding her left eye. I hope she's all right. So 146 to go in this game, and Whiteman to throw it in to Fleming. Bounce pass right side to Moreno in the corner. And throwing it around. Moreno has it. Moreno with a three ball off the glass, no good. Mackin another rebound. Good job by Caitlin. He's been he's done really well on the boards his last few minutes. Almost travels and pushes it up ahead to Dulet. Over to Mays Pullen. Mays Pullen, high post to Mackin. Mackin to Dulet on the baseline. Dulet back out to Mays Pullen. Travel as Carissa Fleming went over there to try and steal it. Mays Pullen took the extra step. Fleming now with the ball, one minute to go. Carissa brings it up in a high post to Bogus. Bogus back out to Whiteman. Fleming, Whiteman, Moreno now with it. Moreno back to Fleming. Trying to feed the paint to Bogus. Bogus ends up with it. And the ball goes into the backcourt. And that's going to be a backcourt violation. So a turnover gives Frontier the ball back. With 44 seconds left in this one. Back to Sierra Warren. Warren now pushed up ahead to Dulette. Dulette travels. Coming back the other way. Fleming now. Up ahead to Dabney Rollins. Off the glass, does not go. And again, Mackin with another rebound. And she got bumped on the way through. It's going to be on Moreno. And Mackin is going to step out. She's going to go over to her coach. And into the game is Elena Mays pulling. Mackin will sit. That's only the first foul on Moreno. Doesn't matter with 23.8 seconds left. Roberts stepped on the line when throwing it in. She can't believe that. She's laughing about it. Inbound to Fleming. Carissa now brings it up. Carissa goes cross court to Whiteman. Back to Carissa. 15 seconds. Shot clock is off. Rollins. Hook shot on the baseline does not go. Rebound duet. Battle for it. Jump ball, possession arrow favors Turner. So Dabney Rollins playing to the very last whistle. 7.5 seconds left in this one. 19 point lead for Frontier. They're gonna win this one going away. Inbound pass, jumper from the corner is an air ball. And the rebound pulled down by the Hawks. And that'll do it. Final score from South Deerfield, the Frontier Redhawks, 55, and the Hunters Falls Indians, 36.
Final scores for the Frontier Red Hawks leading all scorers in the game. Amelia Sobieski, 22 points, including 14 in the second half. 15 for Olivia Dean. Six for Sierra Warren. Five for Marie Demon. Three for Charlotte Dulette. And two points for Ariana Walker. And for the Turner's Falls Thunder, the big story was Dabney Rollins, who finished with 20 points to lead her team. And uh, Lindsey Whiteman had six points. And Vanessa Moreno had two. Four for Haley Bogus. Two for Lily Spera. And two for Lucy Spera. Final score for the final time. Frontier Red Hawks defeat the Turner's Falls Indians by a count of 55 to 36. Thanks again to our sponsors. Attorney Dan Graves, Bobby C's DJ Service, Holiday Pizza, Webb's America's Yarn Store, and Cheswick's Farm in the center of South Korea. For Alec Eckel, and for the executive producer of FCAT Sports, Kevin Murphy. Thank you, boys. And for Sam Finch, I'm Chris Collins saying so long again, final score. Frontier 55, Turner's Falls 36. So long till next time on Red Hawk Basketball.